I don't have the talent to succeed. The better question, do I need talent to succeed? I get into an email response coming up. Roll it. Alright guys, so I had a great email come in from somebody, uh, they started watching some of my videos and it's uh, been quite interesting with the email responses I've been getting. Uh, this again, if you go to mentorsapproach.com and uh, connect with me there, there's a button to send a YouTube response where I'll uh, respond through YouTube on an email. So please. Uh, Take a look and try it out. I'll put the link below. Uh, with regards to this question, it comes from somebody who's struggling with this idea of talent and needing talent to succeed. And the question of, you know, I don't really have it. What should I do? Because I don't have it. Should I just quit? Should I keep going? Here's the email. Hi, Nikos. I started watching your videos and I see what you preach. Thank you. Message is coming out. What if I feel I don't have the talent to succeed? My startup is not going anywhere. What do, when do I quit? Great question. And this is the question of quitting. When do we quit? I made a video about this. I'll link it below. It was more in line with relationships. I'll make a full one about quitting. But the idea is to go back in, in your mind and ask yourself, when you started this, did you look at talent? Was talent a factor of jumping into the startup? And why do I ask that? Well, Passion is what probably dragged you into this. Passion is what really set you into that oomph and got you moving and you jumped into a new startup, you started moving forward, you started creating and as that creativity flew right, right through you and you started just performing, you realized what you really love to do but along the way you also realized that, you know, success has to come with what you're doing and you had to put together the pieces of what you wanted to see this idea of success be and this is where the question will start to rise for many people it's not just you see talent is something that we don't really need to worry about right off the bat what we need to worry about is getting that confidence up getting that movement forward so you get into the startup you start looking at what you actually need what you're actually good at and then you start moving forward and accomplishing the tasks required in the case of when this question starts arising well it's really uh, that moment where you're like, you know, I've been doing it, working on it, I can't get it moving, clearly I'm not good enough. And that usually comes around the time when that success is not being found. The one thing we have to remember, however, is that all entrepreneurs, all the, the great people that started something that was big, they didn't know the final solution, they didn't know where they were headed with it. All they knew was they had a vision in their head and they had to get there. Talent came out of having to learn and grow into who they needed to be in order for that dream to be realized. So if you're looking at it from a perspective of what am I good at, what am I bad at, what am I really talented at, a lot of us will never find that, you know, that picture perfect talent that we're really good at. You know, when we look at athletes, for instance, you know, they, they sometimes just come into form as they're going through high school and you know where they were playing soccer they started kicking a ball and all of a sudden they're playing football you know where, where they were doing another sport all of a sudden another sport came into the picture that they found a passion for and they realized that their talents and their athletic ability could associate with that and that's that example of finding talent now we don't all go through that some people do and you know and they can go out and have great careers with it some people though and most of us we don't because talents aren't just you know something that we we learn as something to, to look for, something that should be taught in schools. It's not because the whole field is so subjective and it's so hard to really figure out how you're going to find somebody's talents. So it's kind of avoided. You just kind of come into it as you start finding that motivational pump in something that you're doing that leads into your passion. And from your passion, you learn the skill sets in order to achieve that continual growth in that passion so you can achieve that vision that you're after. Looking at it from this perspective that we will come into that talent will allow us to keep growing. It will make us the opportunity to keep 
succeeding in new baby steps that we're trying to put in place and as these baby steps turn into big boy steps and then to really big adult steps you know you, you start to really formulate what really is your skill set and that skill set kind of turns into that talent of yours that you look at it from a perspective of a talent uh, some of the talents that I would describe myself as having I, I don't think like they are talents but they came to be into talents as I kept moving through my career and as I grew into who I am today I realized that every passion that I've had new skill sets came out of it this is what we really want to focus on is those skill sets and how to make them better and how to put habits behind them I made videos on this I'll link them below make sure you take a look at these so you can actually start formulating your mindset around what are you good at what are you not so good at what do you need to improve what do you really need somebody to come in and take care of especially when we're looking at something like a startup quitting that's another question and I have to make like separate videos and longer videos for this and I'm just responding to you because I want you to just take it all in really quick go watch the other videos and then let's revisit this a week two weeks three weeks later when you put some new goals into it and start moving forward with re regards to quitting well you just started the startup startups sometimes take forever to get moving take a look at YouTube channels for instance uh, Instagram accounts Facebook accounts when you're starting a new business and you're trying to grow it and you jump into that realm you think oh you know what this guy's doing it I'm gonna be able to do it but then you start doing it and you realize it's not gonna get there that easy it's gonna take time it's gonna take dedication it's gonna take a lot of effort that you weren't expecting to put into it eventually it'll start to grow so what does this look like from regards to a startup and asking yourself where and when to quit? Well, have you sat down and really looked at everything and, and, and really formulated that positive movement forward to really give it your all so you don't walk away with regrets? This is where you would take out a pen and paper, don't use a computer, just a pen and paper, write down what if you walked away today, what things would make you feel 10 years down the road that you made a mistake and it's a regret? And if they are there, then go do those things before you say, I'm going to quit. I guarantee you there'll be a few things on that list that's going to make you go, boom, all right, I did them and now my startup's moving in a better direction and off we go. I.e., have you analyzed, and a lot of people that start, do startups haven't you know, jumped at this realm yet, but have you talked to everybody you need to talk to? Have you connected with everybody that could help you? Have you gone out and established the opportunities that exist? Have you looked at every opportunity that exists? Have you done all the work required so that you can take care of those opportunities when they come? If you can take advantage of those when they come, then you're in that winning state. You're going to get moving in the right direction. So the mentality really has to be on where am I with what I'm doing? Have I done enough? If I walk away today, what will be in my mind five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road? Now, some people quit and they don't look back again. They say, you know what, I gave it my all. But usually these people have given their, their all from the perspective of how much they've thought things through, how much they've done. And maybe a regret will creep up down the road and usually it does, but they're kind of like, well, I was naive then, I didn't know enough and blah, 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 blah. It's out the window, I'm doing this now, I'm fine. Is that who you want to be five, 10 years down the road? I don't know, that's up to you and that's what you need to figure out. Bottom line, this video, it's all about one, go go look at your skill sets. What are you doing that's great? And what skill sets need improving? Then you look at who do you need to bring on the team in order to make this whole dream of yours be realized? And finally, in order to do all that, opportunities. Who have you talked to? Who have you been meeting? Who can help you put this into that roadmap that you've created and get it moving on, on, the, on the right track so you can actually find success. This is Nico's Rent, this is approach.com. More videos coming on this topic. Hit subscribe and I will be delivering very soon. Snow again.